imagine an MMO releasing a battle royale mode inside of it and actually having it be incredible. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's your boy Toph and I'm here to discuss with you about the battle royale mode released in Black Desert Online, namely how it's really helping to fill this niche of content that I felt Black Desert lacked. Black Desert Online is a very fun MMO, it's sandboxy, there's lots of stuff to do, but it does have its flaws with it. For starters, it's becoming more and more pay to win as we go, there was literally a pay to win update this patch. It's also uh, very PvP focused, and yet the PvP is relatively gear locked. You know, it is based on the gear you have in the game. And this scares off a lot of the newer players from it, as you can't really compete early on. And some people don't care to bear through this PvP niche uh, to grind up to the point where you can actually fight players equally or uh, on very close to equal terms. You know, it's a, there's a lot of grinding and gear that goes into this. On top of that, there's a, quite a lack of cooperative content in this game. I mean, there's node wars and stuff, but as far as what you can do at any time of the day goes, there's Miramok and there's Gyphons to grind, and those are very gear-reliant. You have to be really geared up to actually go to those places. You know, you have to be near softcap to go to either of these spots. So there's no real cooperative content other than node wars, you know, at, at one point every day that you can do in this game. And so the Shadow Arena that has just been added in does actually fill a lot of these niches that this game requires. Because everyone starts with nothing, you know, there's there's no uh, gear cap to hit to get into this battle royale. You, you can just start and play right away, and you can enjoy some of the PvP that this game has to offer with its amazing combat system without having to grind for hundreds of hours to get to that point. The battle royale currently features up to three player co-op, and it may feature more in the future as it is currently uh, considered early access, and so this gives players a way to actually work together and cooperate in their game without being at this super high gear score required to reach Gyphons and Muramok. Additionally, as you play the battle royale, you'll be getting progress towards your character in the MMO itself. Now, this isn't extremely amazing overpowered progress, and just grinding monsters over and over would probably be better in most cases, unless you're extremely good at this royale, but it is enough incentive to have you go through and play this, and then you can check your mailbox afterwards, and oh, I made all this money and all these good enhancement materials from just playing the battle royale and having fun. Now, of course, it does come with its flaws, as battle royales do, but it's still an early access, and we've already gotten improvements, so um, I believe the classes that are offered probably need to be balanced out a little bit, but I, I can't speak for what is and isn't extremely strong right now, it's only two days in. Uh, the game, the first day it crashed like crazy, I've had four or five crashes in a row before I actually got into a game at one point, but already on the second day of release they have rolled out a patch and we are crashing less frequently, and now I don't have to spam to get into the server anymore, they've changed the servers up so anyone can get in any time, and that's already a huge improvement after only a single day, great job on that Prolibus. Um, there are a few glitches still, I mean as to be expected, there's there's been some reports of people managing to go invisible, but I'm not sure if that's intentional or otherwise. As well as the zone working a little flaky. I've had I have clips actually of myself dying whilst inside of the zone, but it it counted me and my teammate outside of the zone and one hit us for some reason. I'll be including that clip at the end of the video, but I doubt that's a common occurrence. One major complaint I have about this, however, is that many players who play Black Desert Online will build up a node worker empire and have workers working for them all the time, they feed beer and stuff, or they'll have gardens planted where crops grow and such, and whenever you're in the battle royale for whatever reason, it actually phases your character out completely as if you're logged out. You don't gain playtime, your workers don't work, and your gardens don't grow, and so I do believe that that needs to be fixed. Now despite all of this though, I do believe this is an excellent addition to the game. I was very skeptical of it at first, but I felt like they did it very well. And it's just, it's a fun experience. Even just jumping around as a little black spirit in the pregame, flying around as that and trying to find a character, it all feels fun and rewarding. The, it doesn't seem to be too unbalanced. It isn't too glitchy where it's unplayable. It's an early access, yet it doesn't really feel quite like an early access. It just feels like a somewhat glitchy content, but I mean, everything on this game is glitchy. I do want to say a good job to Prolobus for rolling this out to us, and I hope we do get more unique content like this in the future. I hope they might add on to this, maybe add some new maps and stuff, and keep working to balance the classes in the Battle Royale itself, as well as to tackle the glitches that have already ma manifested themselves. Besides that, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this update as much as I am. I am Itzy Boy Tov here. I'll be adding a little montage here of gameplay probably in the next couple days. Hopefully I'll be working on that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, I like Verto. What? We were not out of bounds. That's bullshit.